Hi, it's Danny. I'm here today to do a plan with me for the week of May 10th to the 16th. Um, so I had penciled my spread in and then I started to go in with a fine liner and forgot to record. So that's why everything's fine linered out. But um, I'm in my Scribbles That Matter B6 size in my Hound's Tooth cover from Jet Pens. I'll be sure to link it below. And I love this little notebook. It's so cute. I'm actually running out of pages because my journaling has finally caught up to my planning. So um, yeah, so I'm going to have to switch out books in the month of June, and I'll be sure to like record <laughs> in a timely fashion for that one. Um, so here I am. Oh, there's Lita. Lita's going to make a little short appearance with her tail. Um, my little kitty. She's so cute. Um, so I had already marked out everything with a fine liner, and I am using a different spread than um, last week. So um, I use the Scribbles That Matter fine liner for this, and it's actually really good. Like, it's a really good fine liner. Um, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm su not surprised. Just like when people do notebooks, you don't expect them to be good with pens. But uh, look at me. I, uh, the more you know. But, um, yeah. So I am, my spread consists of, like, two note spots I'm going to make a Dutch door. Um, it's not a fancy Dutch door. And I'm just putting uh, a note section over here. So the my Dutch door is going to be like really buoy um, and crooked. <laughs> it's not fancy. Like people make like beautiful designs. It would be cool if I made the design out to a mushroom and did it that way. But, you know, maybe next time. Probably not. <laughs> Cause I'm lazy. <laughs> oh well. Um, so I'm just whipping out my eraser and just erasing the pencil marks. Quick story. I have been having problems with my microphone lately, and you'll see that in my live. And um, I just figured out the problem. Like it's totally something to do with Windows 10, and I'm really pissed off about it. Like super pissed off. Because it was in microphone setting, like I had plugged in a microphone, but I hadn't plugged in a microphone. And um, I'm really pissed off that for the past couple of weeks, my not even for the past week or so, my microphone hasn't been working. And it's something to do with the uh, update that Windows 10 did. Like, ugh, Windows, Windows 10, bane of my existence, slimy cur. <laughs> And here's the point where my subscriber goes, unsubscribe. <laughs> She's bad shit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I promise you, I'm not bad shit. I'm just a little, I'm just a little um, quirky. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm quirky. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm yelling into the camera. I'm, I'm probably yelling into the camera because... I'm just making sure that it's recording because I am pissed. And th so I had it at like, a, I had it, the spread sped up, but um, I didn't have it that spread up. So sped up. So I was talking for at least 30 minutes before I realized that just like in my live that the sound wasn't working. So that's some fun shit. <laughs> She says it angrily. <laughs> she says with the fist of fury. <laughs> fist of fury. That's a Bruce Lee movie, right? I feel like it is. I'm not. I feel like it is. I feel like it. That is a, a Bruce Lee movie. Whatever. Um, I should Google it. I mean, I'm in front of a computer. I should Google it right now. Let me do that. Um, hopefully this doesn't ruin the sound. Fist of fury. <laughs> Yeah, a 1972 film starring Bruce Lee. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Okay. So I wasn't being like, you know, wrong. <laughs> For once. Usually I am so, so wrong. Constantly wrong. I live in wrong. Um, yeah, so how are y'all doing? I'm doing great. I am tired. I am so tired and... um. 
excited that the semester is over, that I got to put away my semester books. That's like a tradition. When the semester is over, I gather all the readings, all the books, all the accoutrement that goes with a semester, and I toss it to my bookshelves. I just toss it. And this time, I don't have room on my bookshelf, so I just laid it on the floor. Like, I dropped it on the floor in front of me, like, ah, I'm done. It's over. It is finally over. Like, I am so excited to not do anything for the next two, 10 days, because I have 10 days before the summer semester begins, and I'm taking a teacher that I took in the... um spring semester. And, um, she's, she's tough. She's no jokes. She's playing no games. And I still don't know my grade, um, for her class, which is, is a bit of anxiety because this class was the hardest class this semester. I'm sure I did. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna like, it's going to be what it's going to be. It's out of my hands now. All I could do is try to do better for the next go around, right? Live for today, not for tomorrow. Live for today, not for tomorrow. My therapist and I were talking about that this week because I was trying to write this stupid paper and I was just stuck on my ability. Like, can I do this? Can I write? I just finished writing a 20 page paper. And then a couple of days later, I had to write a 10 page paper. So that's half. That's half. And I had all the doubts just floating in my mind. Like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like, I hate that. I hate when you prove yourself to be sufficient and enough and good, just generally good enough. You've done this before. You've done it greatly. Like, what is your problem? Like, I hate that I do that to myself sometimes. Like, I psych myself out. And um, my therapist loves to say, like, uh, you know, your thoughts are dictate how you behave. So you have to mind your negative thoughts. You're probably having a difficult time right now because you're thinking really negative about your abilities. So of course you can't write. Of course you can't um, perform like you usually do. So try to like, you know, positive thoughts, positive thinking, positive reinforcement. And it actually worked. Like I, she told me to take a break like at least 40 minutes, step away from the paper, do something that to decompress me and get back to it. And I was able to get back to it and I was able to finish it. Um, so yeah, just mind your thoughts. That's my, that's the lesson for this week. Mind your thoughts, like watch out for them because they will have you tripping. They will have you like thinking, oh, everything's great. No, not everything's great. You can't do this. You can't go here. You can't, be whatever you want to be. And hello, yes, you can. Yes, we can. Not to quote Obama, but yes, we can. <laughs> uh, so I am still writing out fitness in my fitness spread. And by the by, my fitness spread works really well. I don't plan to change it, but I am getting kind of restless with having to do all those lines. Like, that's what put me off from bullet journaling in the beginning, like having to do the calendar, like all those squares and stuff. And it wasn't until recently when I started doing bullet journaling again, it's like, I don't have to do that. I don't have to make spreads that everyone else makes. Like everyone has a monthly ca uh, calendar where they have all those squares and they have their drop shadows and they're beautiful, but I don't have to do that. I don't have to live my life that way. And so with my fitness spread, it's working, but I hate having to draw out all these lines. So I'm thinking of um, one of the things, one of my tasks for next week is Googling, um, Googling, uh, whatchamacallit, what do you call it? Googling new fitness spreads. And hopefully I'll showcase some new spreads in June. Um, like a boss, I already, um, whatchamacallit, I already formatted the rest of May. I just haven't recorded it yet. Um, so it's too late for May, but maybe for June, I could switch it up a little bit, maybe try to do a different kind of tracker, try to a different kind of food log or something. I don't know. Just, I like the fact that I'm able to change. Um, like I, I could make a spread, whatever I want it to be. Like that's freeing for me. I felt very confined by the weeks. And I love the little weeks. I love how portable it is and how cute it is. But each week was the same. And I realized I wasn't going, I wasn't planning in it at all. And then my day free was just so small. 
it was just so small and I wanted more room and 172 pages isn't, is not enough to cover the year, especially with all the things that I write, all the things that I plan. So yeah, I'm really happy with this change. Um, it's going really well. So here I am, um, doing my gratitude and goals spread. Um, and that's working really well for me. Uh, like a daily gratitude spread is, I highly recommend it, not for just mental health, but just like taking inventory of like how great we have it. Like it's really a privilege to be sitting here recording this video or recording this voiceover on my computer in my home, um, you know, surrounded by, by my little cats and with, you know, a full stomach, like those are, those are blessings and gratitude, looking at your day and saying, this is really great that this happened. This is really great that was, that that happened, you know, really checks your, your thoughts or checks my thoughts at least. And that's what I'm trying to do. Like, that's the goal to like check my negative thoughts, like stop them or at least confront them and squish them down before they escalate into something bigger. Um, anyhow, so I realized that my spread was very barren. And so I'm like, I should add more mushrooms. So you're going to see me. I had to reclip it, but um, I had to stop recording and record again. That's why I waved. But I'm, I drew in mushrooms on all the spreads, and I'm using the color red, brown, copper, emerald, and sandy tan. The sandy tan is going to be the base of the mushrooms, the stem and the, um, the underneath, the underbridge, the uh, undercarriage, the how's your father? <laughs> What's the word? I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Undercarriage. Is that like, is that naughty? Like, is that a naughty word? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's a naughty word. I don't, you know what? Let me know in the comments. Is that a naughty word? <laughs> Undercarriage. It sounds like it's nasty. <laughs> um, why do I have the giggles? I don't know. I There's this um, sugar-free soda. Like it's a ginger ale. It's called um, Zevaya, Zevaya, Z E V I A, and it, they make it with like um, that one of those sugar substitutes. And boy, oh boy, like there's there's literally zero calories, but it tastes exactly like ginger ale. And this stuff makes me feel like I am high as a kite. <laughs> like I feel like I'm on a sugar rush but apparently there's no sugar. Stevia, they put stevia in it. And it doesn't have that weird, nasty stevia taste that you get sometimes. It doesn't have an aftertaste at all. It really just tastes like ginger ale. And it like makes my nose bubbly and fuzzly. Like my nose starts to tickle every time I drink it. I love it. I don't know how I got on this subject. Yes, I'm feeling really high fluted because I was guzzling this stuff before I recorded this second voiceover. <laughs> yeah, um... So here I am drawing mushrooms. Um, I'm actually loving the whole mushroom theme. I wish I practiced drawing them out first. Like for June, I'm practicing drawing out like I'm practicing like everything, the lettering and all that. So it's going to be much nicer than the, I know this wasn't so bad. This wasn't ugly or whatever, but I want it to be I want my spreads to be nicer. So, um, well, not nice like. Oh, it's going to be fancy. Like I'm not going to spend like three hours, like making a picture, but I'm, I'll, I want it to be like pretty. I want it to be like, Oh, that's cute. Like cute. Not like, Oh, gorgeous. You know, just cute. <laughs> so I've been practicing um, my hand lettering and it looks really great. And I, I'm looking forward to like showing you guys my June spread. I'm so anxious to show you my June spread. Like and it's such a cute idea. And I'm using stickers, stickers that's going to fit um, in my planner. And it's going to be so cute. And um, I just can't wait to get to June um, for various reasons. And also it fits the theme of what's going on in my life because June was supposed to be the month my husband returned home. They extended the deployment. So he's not coming home in June. 
Um, so the theme that I picked for June fits the fact that he's not going to be home and it's going to be kind of sad without him here again. But it's odd, you know, I'm used to him not being here. I miss him more every day, but I, I'm, I'm used to him not being home, which is crazy when I think about it. It's like, Ooh, I wonder know what that's going to mean later on, but I guess we'll worry about it. That's a later, that's a future Danny problem. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Whatever. Like yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, we, we don't have to worry about that. So there I am putting in the grass by my mushrooms, filling it out, filling it out. Um, yeah, what else is going on with you guys? Uh, Comment down below. How do you plan to spend your weekend? I plan to, oh, fix my husband's car. Uh, so I finally got that process taken. I finally got through to the process. It, it's been a whole thing. I don't even want to get into the details, but it's been a whole thing. And I finally have it scheduled to be fixed tomorrow. And um, yeah, so that's my plan. And I plan to do something with my hair. I don't know what yet. Um yeah, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm thinking about what should I do with my hair. And um, I don't know. I'm just happy to be done with school <laughs> right now. I, I'm going to look I'm going to look forward to when I'm done with this master's program. OK, so I'm not going to be done with school anytime soon if the my future plans roll out the way I want to, because in the midst of next semester of working on my thesis, teaching, taking another class, I am also going to be, um, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be um, applying to PhD programs. So I'm, there's going to be more school in my future. <laughs> um, so it's going to be a busy next semester. And I'm not looking forward to that. So that's why I'm like relishing breaks, relishing like putting my spring semester stuff to the side, like, oh, get away from me. Like, because I'm so happy to have this break, this time to not worry about school, not focus on like how to say things or writing or anything like that. I, I could do anything right now. And so after I do this voiceover, I'm going to binge watch The Circle. How many of you watch The Circle? Anybody? I watched last semester. I thought it was last semester. Wow. I watched last season and I thought it was hilarious. So I'm looking forward to watching um, this season, see how it goes. Yeah, so I am coloring in the grass for my, um, for my fitness spread. Just putting in a little bit of color. You know what I should have done? I should like, excuse me, put like color within the fitness box and make the, but then I thought to, mm -mm, it would be too much color. Maybe. And I underlined it like a noob. And it doesn't matter. You could tell in the paper that there's a little bit of bleed through. And I honestly don't care about bleed through to be transparent. I love the fact, like I, you know, the one thing I miss about Hobonichi is the paper that uh, Timo River paper is bomb.com. Like I love how it feels when you write in it or write on it and it has that crinkly used up feeling. Like I would like my paper to feel as used as possible. So yeah. So I missed the paper, if anything. So there's bleed through in this journal because it's 100 GSM weight. It's not like 160. I did not want 160 paper. I hate 160 paper. I have these weird hangups with A5s and 160 paper. Like I'm very strange about that type of stuff. I don't, don't, don't ask me. I'm weird that way. Um, I was watching an, a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Emmy Lou Arts. I think I've mentioned her before. She is amazing. And funny enough, she recently decided to go from a Hobonichi A5 Avec to a junk journal, a junk journal or an art journal. And I just watched her video and she was explaining why she was switching from 
Kobanichi to this journal because she just didn't feel inspired anymore. And she wanted to do things in her own terms. She wanted a little bit more freedom, a little bit more breathing room. And I totally understood that. Like, she explains it more eloquently than I am. But, like, check out her channel. She is amazing. I'll leave her, her channel in the description box and uh, in the cards above, like, 20 minutes in. Okay. So, yeah, I'll be sure to link her, her, her channel. She's amazing. I think she's just so sweet. She has the best stories and the best laugh. And um, she tells great stories about her kids. And her and I have nothing in common, really, but I just love her creativity. Like, she's very creative. So I highly recommend her channel. If you're not going to, um, if you're not into my channel, that's okay. But check check out hers. Her, she's, she's fantastic. She really is. Like, she's one of my favorites. Um, anyhow, so I'm just going through the drawings with a fine liner and just, just for an extra pop just to make sure that the mushrooms stand out against the grass because I kind of went a little ham with the grass. Went a little ham with the grass. <laughs> that sounds so silly. Um, I went a little crazy with the grass. Oh, crazy is a, has such negative connotations. We should claim back crazy and bad shit and all those, you know, those like words to describe crazy. They're not bad things. They're just like Quirky, a state of mind, a state of being. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm rambling, and I'm so sorry for you guys being so sweet to sit and listen to me ramble for oh so long. You guys are amazing. I don't tell you enough how wonderful and lovely all of you are with your beautiful comments. I think I'm going to do another shout out to all the people who have made left comments. Definitely going to do that. Um, uh, maybe my next video. Definitely going to put your names on the screen and just shout you guys out for being so nice, so amazing, so funny and lovely. Like, I am the most fortunate YouTuber in the world to have such sweet and awesome commenters and subscribers. You guys are fantastic. And I just want you to know that, that I have the deepest gratitude for you guys. Thank you. Really, 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 really thank you for all your comments and encouragement. Like, I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. It means more to me than I could ever really articulate. And I, I and you could tell I'm a talker. Um, I love words. So, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have enough words to indicate how happy you guys make me and how less alone I feel because of your comments. Um, so thank you for that. So I was pointing out the bleed through um, in the paper, which I don't care. I don't mind. Um, I'm not trying to paint in this. I'm just trying to do a little art here, a little art there. Here, art, there, art, everywhere, and art, art. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm erasing the um, pencil marks that are left over in my sketches. And then I shake my journal like a Polaroid picture. And then here I do my final flip through of my pages. I want to tell you to question everything. Like, comment, subscribe as you deem fit. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flips.